Welcome back to Masters of Arabia. In the bottom, right, well, bottom, bottom corner, I guess you would say, we have TLW Malaroy, who is playing today. KLU Ibiza. I believe it's Ibiza. It looks like it's Ibiza. So I'm just going to call him Ibiza, whether it is or not, because I need something to call him by for the rest of this game. So Ibiza is playing in grey, and his opponent, Malroy, is down playing in green. So. Masters of Arabia guys, game one, we know how that works out, it is a Hun War, for those who are sick of Hun Wars, tell Voobly, they are running the tournament, and they judged it off what the people play most, and that is Hun's War Arabia, so guys, if you're mad at me for doing it, don't be, be mad at all the players who continue to play it all the time, so, let's get into the game and check out the scouting right now for Malaroy. What have we got? We've got some sheep scouting done. We can tell by this sheep here walking around. Could have been on patrol there, the way that's, well, patrolling, the way that sheep moved there. So just shift clicking around. Looks like he is found most of his resources. He's got forward buried, four gold. Uh, he's got a back gold down over here, so could wall off potentially here. Uh, lumber camp going up there, probably a smart choice. Could put a second lumber camp up here if he really wants to. However, it will put him out of position unless he walls off this section here. Looks like he is going to miss this sheep, and it looks like that's gonna hurt did he see them he didn't even see that sheep so that's gonna actually he's going back around there it looks like he might actually just be patrolling nope stopping there could be i thought he might have been patrolling in arcs which a lot of people do which is quite effective but you do miss a few things every now and then have to go back so it does hurt your score but looks like the first boar was lured in there without loom let's see if we can find that villager uh, there we go, yes, definitely lured in without loom, the low hit points there, I can tell you that. So, let's have a look at our opponent, Ibizus. He has not found his opponent yet. Surprised he actually missed this section here. Could be doubling around, sees the large gold pile there, so should know that his opponent's around here, finds the berries, and there we go. So, berries are on the menu now for Malaroy. He's got his mill up, let's see, down over here. We can see that Ibiza actually has his mill up too. However, he's opting to put more villages on the boar and sheep. Is that a sheep there, yes. Then the, the berries, because we do know that berries are a very so slow source of food. We've got the barracks going up for Malaroy, though. Do we have the barracks for you? Doesn't look like he's got three farms up already, actually, so we might not even see a barracks come up. He only has four villages on wood. So, with three farms, now, that's a lot of resources. So, five there, actually. Let's actually check. Malaroy not going up. Ibiza. Looks like he's just going to go straight up. Come on. Go up. There we go, he's going up. And what do we have over here? It looks like we have Militia making their way across the map right now for Malaroy. Malaroy looking like he's going to get up close, but the thing is, he's going to have to know how much damage... Well, he's going to have to even out the damage. He's going to have to do, what, like a minute's worth of damage here of all his villagers not collecting resources to catch up. We can see, though, that Ibiza did notice his Militia coming down, hence the wall here and the wall here and the fast barracks going up so there's not really that much he can do until he gets up because he's already aged up can he sneak through there looks like he can this villager here could be in trouble we have villagers trying to fight off this scout militia right now but as we know villagers in the fu well in the dark age are probably the strongest unit you can get out i believe they should be able to one one everything and there we go in the town center, doesn't look like he's going to kill anything off though, looks like he did do quite a bit of damage to the scout, so that scout is going to have to be very careful. Great walling off though by Ibiz, are going to be able to do a great job there defending, as everything pretty much has to come through his town center. The only thing he's going to have to worry about is he doesn't have access to gold, and these berries could be in a lot of trouble. And here we go, noticing that, scout actually goes down, and there we go, we have this stable up right now for Ibiz, if nobody noticed that actually, I didn't notice that but I was busy talking about these militia. And we do have multiple scouts out. That villager there could die, potentially. Ooh, trying to be a little bit too greedy there. Trying to run out, kill the villager, and go, but no, nah, didn't work out. So I visit at this stage does have the score lead by about 50 points. We do have scouts down in Malaroy's base, though. This scout here going to prove just annoying when it comes down to walling this off, especially if these villagers get walled on the wrong side. We have more scouts coming through. And we have more scouts coming through. He's scouted these archery rangers here. So he's gone the double range, and I believe we'll get the blacksmith next, and then just flush with that. So that means he's getting these out. But as you know, archers are very weak to scouts. However, they do do damage when it comes to it. However, skirmishes, though, you need to really watch out for, because we do know that just cavalry absolutely destroy skirmishes. What are we going to see up here? We're going to see a range come up, or... Going to gold, so we still could see a range come up, but potentially we could see knights, honestly, the way he's going. We do have the smith up, though, 
So he does have the buildings he needs to advance. Let's actually check. Doesn't look like he's keeping him too high, so he could actually be going straight for it. I can't see any other military buildings right now. I actually hate the color gray. But do we have the smith yet for Malroy? No, we don't. Is he moving out yet? No, he's not. He's just stocking up his archers in here. And we can see that Ibiza is just patrolling here. Both players playing it quite coolly, really. Not too much harassment coming in from either player. We did have that initial draft coming in from Malroy, but not a lot they can do about that in Feudal Age. If you're not if you're not going to put a barracks up and have militia out by the time they get there, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, and looks like we're seeing the blacksmith count now. So we're seeing the double range blacksmith harass and then up by the looks of it. So I'm even starting to just name all the different tactics by myself. So that we, we have the double archery um, blacksmith upgrade here. I like that. That sounds very posh. I can just go, he's going double archery and smith and up. So it looks like we're going to get the watchtower here to defend this goal quite smart. However, the archers will be able to sit around the bottom of it. So it's always better to build it closer to the town center if you can to get some range on it. I know it's out here defending this goal, but it's always good to get another tower up or get it decently close to the town center or have units like this right around it because they can just sit at the bottom there. And what upgrades have we seen? We've seen the fletching upgrade get done. We haven't seen... We might have actually seen... I can't even remember how much he points the scout starts with them out. We might have seen bloodlines. I'll check later. I'm pretty sure 65 is with bloodlines. Very, very sure. I'm actually sounding so unprofessional right now. Even though this isn't professional, but you know my meaning. Uh, so, Mallory, what are you up to? More archers coming out. We're seeing the Delray. We're going for triple archery, so that's a good move there, especially if he's getting this harassment in good. But he did lose a lot of archers there. That's really going to hurt his score. However, we do have only a few, ca well, very wounded cavalry coming in. We have pikes already around the area. Both players have walled their gold, probably opting to be the best option available. Both players, though, with these spears out, spears probably a good idea to counter those scouts. And we've got the big wall off going on over this side here. And we do have the scouts just trying to push in through here. However, they are going to go for the damage here, but trying to get away before these spears come in. And I'm just going to swap to military just to check that nobody's got anything extreme. Feudal Age still, Feudal Age still. So we're not seeing a fast feudal from anyone. And we have 20 archers skirmish mix here, actually, from Malloroy. That's going to be extremely dangerous, especially if he can get up into this main base without these scouts knowing. Because then it's going to be a very, very painful. Even if he can bring the spearmen with him. However, that means these scouts will be able to come back and harass this gold mine. And here we go. Might have actually been a good idea to leave one archer in there so he couldn't tell straight away, but that's a lot of archers right there. And we've got Malroy going up to Castle Age. Do we have Ibiza? Ibiza's nearly there as well, so he's going to be able to go Knights by the looks of it, especially with the triple stable up and the blacksmith. Wouldn't be surprised right now if we see any upgrades be done. Yes, we have seen forging, we have seen the armor upgrade. So he is going to be going Knights. Going to be a good counter to this archer uh, skirmisher mix. However, if they're outmassed, they will be in a lot of trouble because, as we know, archers mass outmassing knights standing on top of a hill. That's where damage comes from. We have another town center going up. Do we have a second? No, we've just got a well, we've got a third, a first town center going up. I guess you could call it because this is original here. First one going up, and then we get the second one going up. But nonetheless, it is the second town center. Well, we're most likely going to put one up as well. Wouldn't be surprised actually if he puts it up next to this gold, one of these gold piles here. Just because of the fact that we've got TLW Melroy going up, wouldn't be surprised at all if we see crossbows as well. Let's just have a quick look. Crossbow being done, no elite skirmisher yet. Do we have Bodkin? Doesn't look like we're seeing... And Bodkin has been done. Next one we've got is, I think it's Leather Arch Armor. Yeah, Leather than Ring, I believe. And it looks like we're getting quite a few knights out right now for Ibiza. Let's have a look at what he's actually got in those ra in those uh, stables. We've got three light cav and two knights in there. We've got four light cav, two knights in this one. And two light cav, another three being created in this one. So he's definitely going very, very hard in the way of cavalry. And I'm surprised we haven't seen cavalry archers yet. We may see cavalry archers from Malaroy, actually. Let's have a look. Sorry with all this constant switching. And there we go, so we are getting ca cavalry archers, definitely. Leather archer, no, no, no. Elite skirmisher, no. Just going to go hard for these guys. Looks like over here, though, these cavalry archers are getting quietly badly killed, honestly. That man going out there taking a good shot. These cavalry archers here on less than, what, 20 health each. Going to be able to do a lot of damage. 
and out moving more cavalry archers. So cavalry archers are definitely good options in Hun War. Of course they are cheaper, and they're other thing we see most of these days. Big archer skirmisher mix though. Surprised that Malaroy hasn't pushed out with this, because if he pushed out with this now, he could get a lot of harassment on. And if he bundled himself up in an area like there, he would definitely be able to do a lot of damage to these knights. However, it doesn't look like though we see Ibiza moving out. Probably a good idea to keep all these crossbows, spears, and skirmishers back here. Because they are going to be able to do a bit of damage. We can see a forward siege workshop actually coming up from Malaroy if he gets his villager up there. And here we go, the big battle is about to start. Vill well, we've got, not villages, we've got archers on top of this hill being able to shoot out these guys here. However, moving to the bottom of the hill definitely should have stayed on this peak here and microing these archers right now. You can see just how much damage they actually do. They may be the counter, but when they can do so much damage, they are. But it looks like right now we're going to see these knights take it. Knights do have all the armor upgrades and we can see that they do have the forging upgrade. No um, second ar attack upgrade yet, though. These cavalry archers trying to do their best. However, we see that Melroy has lost his entire attacking archer force there. He does still have some cavalry archers on production. He does still have some up here, I believe. Yes, but they are coming back to the base. And that's going to hurt for Ibiza, but it's going to hurt even more for Mallory. If Ibiza wanted now, he could pull right back and be happy. But I'm pretty sure he wants to do the damage while he still can. And just streaming knights across the map right now, but it looks like town center being used to defend. And I might not... I would actually be... I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Mallory resign now. I know I probably could have. But he's still got a chance. Which is the main thing we see. Cast two castles going up right now for Malaroy, actually. This is actually very interesting, because you don't usually see Hun castles go up. Especially this early and two together. Actually, no, I just noticed that's Ibiza's castle right there. I can't believe I didn't see the color difference. Like I said, I hate seeing gray. And it looks like this castle is going to be able to end the game right now, honestly. He's going to be able to focus down this castle here nice and quickly. And to keep those villagers off it, he's going to be able to take out this forge, this archery range here. He's going to be able to keep him back. And there we go, Malaroy resigning. I'm sorry about the mix-up between those castles there, but I just did not notice the color difference. I know, but I actually hate commentating people when they go to grey. I do believe in Forgotten Empires it's being changed to black, so I do really look forward to that. So guys, we can see that Ibiza has taken the first game, and I'll see you guys in the next game, which will be Game 2, which will be the Aztecs. Well, I'll see you then.